Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kelsey Berry, Vice President of Marketing here at Ty J. Young, Inc., and welcome to today's live online event, Exposing the Myths of Annuities. We are so glad you are here. I know right now all you see is a screen with our logo on it. In just a minute, Ty Young will be live and in color. Now, I have the privilege to introduce your speaker for today, and before I do, I want to share a little about our firm. We are different. Our firm is nationwide, serving clients in all 50 states, and perhaps what we're most proud of is our award-winning customer service. We believe customer service is the most important thing when handling people's money, and most people agree. Now, a little about your speaker for today. Ty J. Young is the founder and CEO of Ty J. Young, Inc. He is an expert in the field of finance and economics. He has been featured in many major media outlets, including CNN, MSNBC, Bloomberg, Dow Jones Newswire, and the New York Times. Ty is a frequent contributor on Fox News and Fox Business discussing geopolitical events that affect your money. His mission in life and the foundation of our firm is to make a positive difference in people's lives. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor to introduce to you Mr. Ty J. Young. All right, thank you, Kelsey, for that uh, that kind that kind introduction. And I wanna I wanna welcome everybody today to our live online event, exposing the myths of annuities and how to understand annuities. And we've got a lot of different people on the uh, live online event today, including many clients. I wanna welcome you. If you're not a client yet, I wanna welcome you as well. We have people on both coasts on the uh, live online event today across the country. We even have a group of ICE agents in Fishkill, New York, or a group of like 20 people gathered together watching. Welcome, folks. We appreciate what you do. We appreciate you. So welcome, wherever you are, welcome to today's live online event. Again, the title is Exposing the Myths of Annuities. And we're going to talk about annuities there. We're going to talk about there's positive and there's negative. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna there's a lot of a lot of myths when it comes to news, a lot of misinformation out there. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna expose those myths, we're gonna correct the misinformation so you are informed. Now, before I get to annuities, let's talk about you. The most important piece of the puzzle when it comes to investing is you and what you want for your money, your goals, your objectives, what you want to do, your hopes, your dreams, and how you're going to accomplish them, and how, how can your money help you do that? All right, so let's talk about you just a second. Question for you, and you might not know this, but question, the best financial advice that you'll ever receive, where does it come from? Does it come from a financial advisor? Does it come from me? No, ladies and gentlemen, the best financial advice you'll ever receive when it comes to your money comes from you. Now, you might ask yourself, well, Ty, how, um, how can I get financial advice from myself? I'm going to show you. What I'd like you to do, and I don't know if you're in your home watching this on your computer. Many folks are watching these on their smartphones. Wherever you are, what I'd if, you, if you've got a pen handy, if you're driving, don't do this, obviously. But um, if you've got a pen handy, what I'd like you to do is grab a pen and a piece of paper, and I'd like you to write down your answers to these questions that I'm going to give you. And your answers dictate um, what you should be doing with your money, very simply. Now, where do the questions come from that I'm going to give you? Every year, there's a survey done, and this survey is done for people between the ages of 55 and 70, people that are just about to retire or have recently retired or in the process of retiring. The two most important questions from that survey um, really, I believe, define what you should be doing with your money. So let me give you question number one, and as I give it to you, I'd love for you to grab your, your pen and write down your answer to this question. First question, here it is. What is your number one fear financially? What's your number one fear? Overwhelmingly, the answer to that question, hopefully you have your answer written down, what's your number one fear financially? Overwhelmingly, the answer to that question is running out of money. Running out of money, that's the number one answer. I don't know what your answer is, but that's the number one answer is running out of money. Next question, what is the number one thing your money provides for you? Right? Write your answer down if you would. Number one thing your money provides for you. All right, the number one answer to that question is security. Now, I've got a question for you. If your number one fear financially is running out of money and the number one thing your money provides for you is security, should you really have your money, all of it, in a place where you can lose it? Of course not. 
Of course not, but a lot of our financial advisors are recommending that we have all our money at risk. And I don't know that that makes sense. I mean, you've got to determine for you and for your, your own individual situation, should you have all your money at risk? Now, the real question I have for you is this. Do your investments that you have currently, do, do, do your investments match your answers to, your, to those questions? Do they match? And if they do, good for you. And if they don't, what should you do? You should make changes. You should make changes. If your investments don't match your answers to those questions, you should make changes. And one thing we're going to offer you today at the, at the end of today's live online event is a no cost, no obligation consultation with your Ty J Young Inc. advisor. Many of you have talked to them already, um, and many of you, many of you haven't met them yet. Um, but we're going to offer that to you so you can help make sure that your investments match your answers to those questions. Now, if your number one fear financially is running out of money and the number one thing your money provides for you is security and you've got all your money in the stock market, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to be the one to tell you, but those things don't match. They don't match. Get with your Ty J. Young Inc. advisor and say, how do I get the right investments to match my answers to questions so I have the right investments for my individual situation? But then first thing, but very, very important, make sure you know your answers to those questions and make sure your investments match those answers. Now, next thing I wanna talk about is the fact is we're investing in a crazy world. I mean, we really are investing in a crazy world. I mean, the news cycles, the things on the news, I mean, it's unlike anything I've seen in my lifetime. Um, and when it comes to your money, you've got some choices as to places you can have it, places that you can invest it. One place you can have your money is in banks or another place, credit unions, another one, CDs. Banks, credit unions, CDs. Those are what, what I call temporary parking places for your money. Now, have you ever parked your car in a temporary parking space too long? Well, if you do, you're penalized. You get a ticket, right? The penalty for parking your money in a temporary parking space too long is the too little interest that they pay you and the too high taxes that you have to pay when you do get that interest. So banks, credit union, CDs, I mean, you should have your emergency money there, but above that, those are temporary parking places for your money. Next place you can invest is in mutual funds and in stocks. And these are very, very popular, especially right now. All right, now, here's the thing about stocks and mutual funds. Um, is as long as the stock market's going up, as long as the stock market's going up, you're generally in good shape because you're making money. Over the last several years, if you've been in stocks and mutual funds, you might have made more than 10% per year. And if you have, that is awesome. Congratulations to you. Um, historically, those rates of return are better than what they've been. So good for you if you've made those gains in the last several years. But understand the market is volatile. All right, the market can be volatile, but you say, Ty, it's up and up and up and up. And you know what? It is. It looks great right now. It does. And so does the economy. I mean, you think about the economy just a second. Well, I mean, unemployment is at historic lows. Um, labor participation rate is getting better and better and better. Consumer confidence is going up. Consumer spending is going up. Taxes are down. Um, there's, there's more imports, more exports. I mean, from an economic standpoint, I mean, we grew at 4.1% last month and at, or last quarter and actually was revised up to 4.2%. One of the best quarters we've had in 10 years. One of the best. That, so it, the market looks really, really good. The economy looks really, really good, right? And... And we also have to be smart enough, and we know this, to look at history. You know, the, it comes down to this. There's a saying, and many of you know it. I'm sure all of you know it, really. Here's the saying. Those who don't know history are doomed to do what? Right, to repeat it, to repeat history. So while the market's doing great and while the economy's doing great, we also have to be wise and look at what's happened in history. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know this. In the last 90 years, the stock market has gone down more than 30% nine times. Let me say it one more time. In the last 90 years, the stock market's gone down more than 30% nine times. That means about once every 10 years, the stock market's gone down more than 30%. During the Great Depression, that 1929 crash, over a period of time, the market was down over 80%. In 2008, the stock market was down more than 50%. 
I mean, that's the reality. That's the reality of the, of the world that we're in. The economy looks great. The market looks great. Um, now, this has been one of the longest bull markets. Actually, it's been the longest bull market in the history of our market, but it still looks good. But markets can crash. And that's what it comes down to, risk versus safety. Risk versus safety. And, and many of us, uh, our brokers, you know, they're treating us like we're 25 or 35 years old. I mean, I wish that I was 25 or 35 years old, but I'm not. Um, now, we, you know, we're 50, 60 years old, 70 years old, some of us, um, and we can't be treated like we're 25 or 35 years old when it comes to our investments. We need different investments. And, and here's a question for you. Many of us on this, on this live online event today, we're invested like we're trying to double our money. Maybe 80% of your money or more in the stock market or in mutual funds. Maybe more than that. I don't know. A lot of folks are that way. Here's the question for you. If God forbid the stock market, well, well let me ask it a different way. If, if you have 80, 90% of your money in the market and it doubles, let's say it doubles, and I hope it does. I hope it does. If the stock market doubles over the next year, is that going to change your life or your lifestyle? Are you going to draw more out of your 401k or IRA, or will your lifestyle stay about the same? What most people say is their lifestyle would stay about the same, okay? Conversely, if the stock market, God forbid, God forbid, crashes and goes down 50% like it did uh, 10 years ago in 2008 and many times throughout history, and your money goes in half, your IRA or your 401k goes in half, um, which I hope doesn't happen, but it's possible. If that does come to pass, would that change your lifestyle? Almost everybody I ask that question to says, if I lost half my money, I would not feel as secure, and that would certainly change my lifestyle. So here's my question. You've got your money invested, many of us, to double, but if it doubles, it doesn't change anything. But if it goes in half, which it can if we're invested that way, and we lose half of it, it changes everything. Why would we put ourselves in that situation? Again, it comes down to risk versus safety. And older, I mean, here's a different way of saying it. Older investors versus younger investors. I mean, what's the difference between a 25-year-old investor and say a 65-year-old investor? What's the difference? Here it is, time. Time to recover, time to grow your money. Again, the number one fear among, America, um, among Americans over the age of 50 um, is, is outliving their money. Their money is their security, all right? So we need to invest differently um, than if we're 25 or if we're 35 years old. Now, annuities. Annuities can be safe locations for your money in a place where you can earn a reasonable rate of return historically. But you have to look out for the bad ones. There's good ones that I own personally, that I own for thousands of clients. Um, and there's, there's other ones that I don't think are so good that have fees that I think that you should avoid. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you the good ones and I'm gonna show you the ones to avoid. And I'm gonna tell you what's good about the good ones and what's bad about the bad ones, right? I'm gonna give you that information so you can make an educated decision of whether you want your money secured and earning a reasonable rate of return, and you want to be taking risk with it. Um, I'm going to expose the myths of annuities on this live online event today. All right, first thing, what is an annuity, and how does an annuity work? All right, here, very simply, here's what an annuity is. An annuity is a contract with an insurance company. That's it. Um, an annuity originally was designed to be a safe place for your money. And most of them are safe places for your money right now. Now, everybody on this live online event today has what I call the armchair financial advisor in their life. They've got somebody in their life, you've got somebody in your life probably, that no matter what you do, they could have done it better. If you buy a car, they could have got a better deal. If you make an investment, they made a better investment. If you made money in your investments, they made more money on on their investments. That's the armchair financial advisor. You know who I'm talking about in your life, right? Right, you can probably, you can probably see their face right now. Um, I'm gonna give you a fact about annuities. I can, I, I am very, very confident that that armchair financial advisor, that know-it-all in your life, doesn't know this. So don't tell them, don't tell them. You can give them a quiz to see if they know. All right, so here's the question. Pardon me, here's the question. Who purchased the very first annuity and when? All right, here's the answer. Write this down if you want to. The very first annuity was purchased by the Queen of England more than 300 years ago. 
The Queen of England bought the very first annuity 300 years ago. Why did she buy it? She bought it for the same reasons I bought mine. Safety, so I didn't lose any money, and to earn a reasonable rate of return on my, uh, on my money. All right? Again, um, ask the armchair financial advisor that question and see if they know. But there's a, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to separate the fact from the fiction. There's a lot of misinformation about annuities. A lot, a lot of people, I, I think just because they don't know, lump all of them, all, all annuities together. And you really can't do that. You see, if you lump all mutual funds together or all stocks together, are different stocks and different companies different? Well, sure. Are different mutual funds different? Sure. Are different annuities different? Sure they are. All right. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the good ones and you can separate the good ones from the bad ones and you can know the benefits that you can receive. And I want you to know this too. The, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the facts, but I want you to know that the proper annuity used correctly is a tremendous tool to help you achieve retirement goals. As a matter of fact, the benefits that you get from the proper annuity used correctly, you cannot get anywhere else. What are those benefits? I'll cover them later on during the live online event today. All right, let's talk about the different kinds of annuities. And before I do that, I want you to know if you have an IRA, you can have an annuity inside your IRA if you want to. Uh, if you have a 401k, you can roll over your 401k into an IRA and own an, uh, own an annuity in there, all right? If you have stock or, or if you have mutual funds or, or stocks, can you sell that and put it into an annuity? Of course you can. If you have money in the bank, um, can you take that and put it into annuity? Uh, of course you can. Here's the question. Should you? Should you? That's where your advisor here at Ty J Young Inc. comes in. They'll help you make that decision. But before we do that, let's talk about the different types of annuities. Here are the ones I want you to know about. One's called a variable, and you don't have to write this down yet. I'm gonna get to one indiv each of individually, but that, at that point, you might wanna take some notes. A variable annuity, a fixed annuity, a flexible fixed annuity, something called an index annuity, and something called an immediate annuity. I'm gonna talk about all those different types and again, separate the good from the bad. Separate the good from the bad. All right, let's talk about the very first type of annuity that I want you to know about. Here's the very first, first one. Write this down if you'd like to. Variable annuity, variable annuity, variable annuity. All right, now, if you've got a pen there, I'd like you to write these words right next to it. These are the words that I gave my dad when he said, Ty, I think I might buy a variable annuity. Here's the advice that I gave him. Here's what I said. I said, Dad, here are the words you want to write down. Never, ever, ever, ever buy that one. All right? Why? Why? Um, because the risk is great and the fees are high. Risk is great and the fees are high. All right? So what is a variable annuity? Essentially, a variable annuity is a group of mutual funds that's taken in by an insurance company. It's repackaged and sold to you and I, the general public, under the name variable annuity. Okay? If you own a variable annuity, you are likely buying the highest, most expensive form of life insurance on the planet. If you own a variable annuity, you bought life insurance, whether you know it or not, and you're probably paying a heck of a lot for it. Okay? So there's the life insurance charges. There's the administrative charges. There are the funds, the mutual funds in there. They charge fees too. The fees can be as high. The range is about two to 5% per year. So if you're paying 5% per year, as an example, and you're, you have $100,000 in there, you could be paying possibly $5,000 a year in fees. Let's hope it's not. Let's say it's two. Let's do 2%. 5,000 is just too much. Let's say you have 100,000 invested and you're in a variable annuity, you could be paying two or $3,000 a year in fees. And for what? You can lose money in the account. What insurance are you getting, right? Um, it, it, it's, they're, they're confusing. Um, this is the one, when you see people on TV say never ever buy an annuity, that's the one they're talking about, the variable annuity. And I can tell you the press doesn't like them. And generally the press doesn't like the variable annuity because of all the fees that are involved. And you can lose money, um, and you're paying very, paying a lot of money for life insurance, very, very expensive life insurance. So the point is, never ever buy that one. If you own that one, we can help you get out. We can help you get out. A lot of times, if you've got a penalty for early withdrawal, we can get that reimbursed to you with a bonus the very first day. So don't panic, but call us. Talk to your Ty J. Young, Inc. advisor. We will help you get something better for your money, all right? Um, so 
I mean, is there a place for a variable a variable annuity in a very very narrow margin? Very very in my view, very very narrow margin of people. Generally speaking, um, that's a never ever ever buy that one. All right, kind of hard to tell how I feel about the variable annuity. Right, that's the one to avoid. All right, now next one I want you to know about is the annuity that gives you what they call the income rider. The income rider. They charge you. They charge you a fee, um, and, and they call it income insurance, or for income riders, for a guaranteed income for life. And I'll make the argument for and against that you decide what's right for you. So the, in, in exchange for this fee, maybe 1%, 2% per year, um, they're going to guarantee that, if you, that you're going to get an income for the rest of your life. Okay? All right? Now, that's the argument for it. Here's the argument against it. The argument against it is the insurance company is charging you a fee and, and think about this, the insurance company is not in the business of losing money, they're in the business of what? Making money, right? So they're gonna charge you this fee, and in exchange for the fee that they're charging you on your annuity, um, they're going to limit how much of your own money that you can have so that you never run out. That's the income rider. I'm not a big fan generally, it's right in some cases, if you have that and you're paying a fee and you're not really sure if it's good for you or not, ask your Ty J. Young Inc. advisor, there's no cost, there's no obligation, they'll help you determine is it a good one, is it not a good one, is it right for you, they will, uh, they will help you there. No problem there at all. All right, next type of annuity I'd like you to know about is a fixed annuity, and this one's pretty simple. Buying a fixed annuity is similar to buying a CD. When you buy a CD at the bank, you get a fixed rate of return. If you go to the bank right now and you buy a one-year CD, pardon me, you might get a 1.5% guaranteed rate of return for the next year. If you go three years, maybe you get 2%. Right now, if you buy a fixed annuity, a three-year fixed annuity, you can get 3% approximately um, guaranteed um, for a three-year period of time. And after three years, you can take your money out, leave it in, whatever you'd like to do. And while it's in there, it grows tax-deferred. No taxes at all till you take it out. So is it good or bad? It's good if you're happy with 3%. If you're not happy with 3%, not so much. So it's up to you. The press, they're pretty neutral on the, uh, the fixed annuity. Interestingly, in, t in 1982, if you can remember 1982, how high interest rates were, a fixed annuity was paying a one-year rate in some cases of 18%. Isn't that crazy? Um, so those rates aren't available now, but they were back at uh, back in that period of time, if you remember those high interest rates. All right, next type I want you to know about is something called an immediate annuity. Now, an immediate annuity um, is kind of like a pension. If you buy an immediate annuity, essentially you give your lump sum of money to the insurance company and they send you a check every month for the rest of your life. You've seen this one advertised, the gentleman laying on the beach um, and, they, and the mailman brings him a check. He says, I gave a lump sum of money to the insurance company to give me a check every month for the rest of my life. You can buy your own pension income if you want to, all right? Now, if, if you wanna buy a pension, you can do that. The good part is you get a guaranteed income for the rest of your life. The bad part is you no longer have access to your money. So you trade your lump sum of money in for a guaranteed contract income for the rest of your life. Um, you, might, you, you might know or be familiar with this if, if you win the lottery, and I hope everybody has. If you win the lottery, you can take annuity payments over a number of years or a lump sum. Uh, same type situation, you get payments over a number of, uh, over a number of years. All right. That is the immediate annuity. Now, this next one that I'm going to share with you, this is the one that I own myself. This is the one that I own on behalf of thousands of clients. This is uh, the one that I own on behalf of my parents. All right. I love this one. All right. And let me, let me just kind of say it to you before I tell you what kind it is. I have a question. If you have an IRA or a 401k, I want you to think about that IRA. Think about that 401k. Think about what we've talked about today, the risk of the market. Think about the rate of return that you've gotten. And here's a question for you. All right, here's the question. For your IRA, for your 401k, for your money, your investment money, for your retirement money, if you were able to get a 10% bonus the very first day and average six to 8% compound on your money, with no market risk and no fees, would that be better than what you have now? Would it? If the answer to that is 
I'd like you to write this to write this down. The name of this type of annuity is called an index annuity, an index annuity. And here's how it works. You put your money in and you're guaranteed against market losses. And when the stock market goes up, you go up with it. Your gains lock in on an annual basis. So when the stock market goes down, you don't lose anything. You do receive compound interest, historically about six to 8%, and there are no fees. And when you die, um, the money goes to your beneficiaries in a lump sum with no waiting. Kind of sound too good to be true? Gotta be a catch, right? There's two of them, here they are. First catch is time. When you put your money into a good index annuity, you make a time commitment. Best accounts right now are gonna be between about six years and about 16 years. And it depends on the state that you're in. Some states, um, they have shorter accounts without, without bonuses. Um, in, the, in, in some other states, like Georgia, for example, there's products with 10% bonuses. So it's gonna vary by state. What's available is different by state. And for the ICE agents in, uh, in Fishkill, New York, New York, the biggest bonus is 2%, just so you guys know. But essentially, um, most other states, about 40 other states have that 10% bonus the very first day. So if you've got a 10% bonus, you average six to eight percent and there was no risk to you losing if the market went down there were no fees would that be better um if the answer to that question is yes pick up the phone um call your ty j young inc advisor the number is 877-912-1919 and say talk to me about this index annuity is it right for me if you're okay with the time commitment and by the way during the time commitment you can always take out 10 percent per year every year for any reason with no penalty at all for your insurance from the insurance company. All right, all right. Last time I'm going to describe this to you. By the way, index annuity is also synonymous with the term equity index annuity. I love these accounts used properly. There's about 40 companies that offer you and I, the investing public, this index annuity. These types of index annuities. About four or five of those companies do it well. All right, and have the very best products with the very best ratings, with the very best bonuses and the very best rates of return. You want to make sure that you get one of the best companies with the best products that are going to have the best bonuses and the best rate of returns. How do you make sure? You make sure you deal with the experts. When you call your Ty J Young Inc. Wealth Manager, Wealth Management Advisor, they are experts. They've been handpicked and trained by me personally. They are experts. They even sound like me in many cases. Um, and I think that's a good thing. Hopefully they do too, but hopefully you do too. So um, what they'll do is they'll help, they'll make sure that you get one of the best products for you in your individual situation, in your individual state. Uh, very, very important. But again, literally, once your money's in there, if you get a 10% bonus, you put in $100,000, you start the very first day with 110. And that's your money and you make compound interest on it. Um, as the market goes up, you go up with it, your gains lock in on an annual basis, and when the stock market goes down, you don't lose anything. You do receive compound interest, and there are no fees. Do I like them? I do. You know why I like them? Because they accomplish, the index annuity accomplishes the goal that a lot of the folks that we talk to have. You see, the goal they have is financial freedom, and financial security. That's their American dream. And if their money's protected against losses, they feel like they have financial securities. They don't lose it if the stock market goes down. And they have to make interest, historically about six to eight percent. They have to make interest so they can um, have financial freedom to do the things they want to do, to play golf every day, go visit grandchildren, travel the world, do all those things. Um, they have to earn money. The index annuity helps them have both of those things so they can live their American dream. That's why I like them. Is it right for you? I don't know. It depends on your own individual situation. That's why it's so very important that you talk to your Ty J. Young Inc. advisor. They'll help you. I feel like I've said that a lot, but those folks are great. I love them. They will help you. They're great at what they do. They'll help you um, get your money in a place where it's protected if that's what you want, where you can earn a reasonable rate of return if that's what you need. Now, some of you already have an annuity. And you're saying to yourself, I think I got the bad kind because mine's nothing like what you're describing, Ty. That's okay. We can move the account that you have 
um, to a good one. If you've got a bad one, and we'll help you figure out if it's a bad one or not, we'll help you move it from the bad one to the good one. And mo many times you can do that with no taxation at all. And if you have a penalty for early withdrawal, many times, not every time, but many times we can get that reimbursed to you with a bonus the very first day. If your money's in an IRA and you want that for an IRA, we can do an IRA transfer with no taxation and no fees so you can have the bonus, the safety, and the growth that you, uh, that you need, all right? Now, the question is, how do you know if it's right for you? You gotta go think about risk versus safety. If you like risk and you wanna make 20% of your money every year and you're okay with it going up and down and all over the place like a roller coaster, an annuity's probably not right for you. If you wanna get a guaranteed income stream for the rest of your life, you can get that with an annuity. Um, if you wanna get a bonus the very first day, depending upon your state, um, you can get that in an annuity. So it really depends, again, on your own individual situation, all right? And, and as I finish up here today, I wanna to encourage you to think about your answers to those questions. And the first question was, what is your number one fear financially? For most people, that's running out of money. Next question was, what's the number one thing your money provides for you? Security. Ladies and gentlemen, and hear me now, the best financial advice you will ever receive comes from you. If you want your money safe, if you want your money protected against losses, you are right. You're right. You should have it protected against losses, and you can. We'll help you do it. And you can still earn a reasonable rate of return if you feel like 6 to 8% compound is a reasonable rate of return. You can have that. The experts say um, you can have those things. I mean, Stuart Varney from Fox Business, I don't know if you know who I'm talking about. He's one of, the, one of the anchors on Fox Business. I watch him several days a week. He said back in February, as the market was going down, remember in February, the end of January, first February, market started going down. And he said on a day like this and a month like this, if you're over the age of 50, you shouldn't have more than half of your money in the market. You should have half of it protected against losses. Well, did he mean put it in the bank? I don't know, I didn't talk to him, but an alternative to having it in the bank is having it in a good index annuity where it's protected and growing. Again, is that right for you? It depends on how you feel and what you want, all right? So, um, and the armchair financial advisor, maybe they said all annuities are bad, maybe they just don't know. And if they'd like to, if they'd like to watch this live online event, we'll get them a recording so they can see it. If you'd like us to provide it to them, we'd, have, we'd have, be happy to do it. But again, it comes down to what's right for you, what you want. You know what, and I'm here to say, I'm here to tell you, this is America. You can have, you can have financial security, you can have financial freedom, and you can live your American dream if you just make good decisions. We'll help you make them. Thank you for being on this live online event today. It's been an honor and a privilege to have the opportunity to address you today. Our phone number, if you don't have it written down, here it is, 877-912-1919. There's no cost, there's no obligation. If you wanna to talk to your Ty J. Young Inc. A wealth Management Advisor, they'll help you to term, determine how much of your money you should have protected, how big a bonus that you should get, and how soon you should get it. If you want it right away, they'll off, if it's right for you, they'll help you do it. All right. Again, thanks for being on here today. It's been an honor and a privilege to address you and have a great day. God bless America.